everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith 88. So today I have a Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul for you guys. I have to say once again, I was not impressed with the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. I was going to skip out because I had a lot of the products that were on sale for the beauty section. I don't buy too many bras, panties, lingerie. I don't like the way their panties fit personally. Same for their lingerie, their bras. There are a few that I really, really love. And I get them on sale throughout the year and that kind of stuff. So I really don't wait for semi-annual for those. So let me jump in and get started and show you guys what I picked up. So the first item I picked up here is this gorgeous black lace train case. My train case is falling apart. I've had it since I was maybe 20. So it's about 10 years old. This is much, much smaller. But I thought it was super, super cute. It has a top handle and then it does have a inside black pouch. This, I believe, was originally $38. Yes. And it was on sale for $18.99, so $20 off retail. You got a black pouch in there. Super cute. I would love to one day get down to having all my makeup in something like this. But right now my makeup collection is way, way too big for that. So up here we have some cloud washes. These went on sale for $3.99. I really miss Victoria's Secret doing shower gels. So this is the next best thing. They don't do these in the limited edition sense. They only do them in the core collection. Considering they're on semi-annual sale, they might go away and not even come back. Victoria's Secret might go back to no shower gels, no body wash. Which is really sad because I like to layer all my products. So I picked up Velvet Petals. Love Spell, which is tried and true for a lot of people. This smells really, really bad on me. When I was a teenager, I absolutely loved Love Spell. Thought it was the greatest thing in the world. Smells like dirt on me. I could do the shower gel. I cannot layer the lotion or body spray because it smells horrific and rancid on me. Pure Seduction. This is a tried and true favorite for me. I've been wearing this on and off since I was a teenager. absolutely love this. And I really, really miss Endless Love. So Victoria's Secret, if you are listening, bring back the blue Endless Love. Absolutely love that fragrance. I do have some back stocked in my stockpile. Really hope that one day it makes a comeback. So over here I have some lotions. All four of these are from the pink line. These were on sale for $4.99. Some pink products were $4.99. Some were $7.99. I went ahead and picked up the $4.99 ones. First one here is Urban Bouquet, which is Wild Daisies times City Vibes. And it says, Urban Edge, Sidewalk Flowers, and Leather Jackets Meet Me Downtown. So this has a nice fresh floral, but you definitely get that leathery smell in there, which is kind of a little bit weird. I kind of wish I wouldn't have purchased this one blindly, but it's not my least favorite. I definitely will wear it. I did pick it up in the body spray as well, which I'll show you guys real quick. So that is the body spray. Next one, this was my favorite one of all the ones I picked up. This was Flower Crush, which is Water Lily and Wild About You. This smells very, very similar to a past fragrance that came out in the core collection at Victoria's Secret. Can't remember which one offhand. It was in a white package too. I should have it behind me. I don't. Okay, so it says smooth love repeats. And, okay, so I guess the only fragrance description we have is water lily and wild about you. So once again, I did pick up the body spray to go with that because I do like to layer my fragrances. Now, my most disappointing fragrance I picked up was this Festival Crush. This stinks. I think it smells foul. I think it smells like flowers mixed with suntan lotion. I hate the smell of suntan lotion. My daughter really enjoyed this fragrance, so you know what? This is going to her. It says that it is Solar Blooms with the Band. So once again, I did pick up the lotion and the body spray, like I said, I didn't like this one, so this one is going to my daughter. This one, not so bad. This is Rosy Quartz. Once again, on sale for $4.99. Scented lotion from the pink line. 
says Bright Peony and Chasing Daydreams. I love the holographic on the package of this. And like I said, I picked everything up in pairs, so I did get the Body Mist in that. The only item that I did not get in a pair, I did not get the lotion on this. This is the Love is Heavenly Perfumed Spray. I really wanted to get the perfume in this, but you know what? It was like $20. I'm like, I know it's going to go down to $14.99, so I'll wait and get it when it's on sale for $14.99. But I did pick up the mist because I believe this was on sale for $7.99, which was a great price. So that is everything that I got at the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.